Good afternoon, Anastasia and Valerie. Chuck Fosberg here from Next Home, and we are out at 5262 Dartmouth Avenue North here in St. Petersburg. So I'll show you around the outside and uh, give you a glimpse around the neighborhood in a separate video. But right now, I'd like to show you inside the house. So walking up the front entrance, the house is freshly painted. There's a nice little sitting porch out here on the front. It's got a little bit of an old Florida feel to it. It's a lot of little nice vintage touches to the house. Now stepping inside, you'll see that it's been freshly renovated. Laminate floors, nice big windows. So we're here in the, the living area right now and over to the left, as you walk through the living room, is the master suite. So we'll go take a look at that first. All right, so this here is the master suite. It's got really nice corner windows, let in a lot of light. And then coming around here, we've got the master bath. And then it's got a regular tub. Okay, and then stepping back out into the master bedroom. It's got a nice built-in bookshelf there. The only drawback here is that You've got relatively small closet space. So this is your closet. And you can see here, it's, it's just a standard sized closet. All right, we'll go across here to the other side of the front of the house. And we'll take a look at the two bedrooms out over here and the bathroom that serves them. Similar to the master suite, this one has corner windows, which let in tons of light. Another book uh, built-in bookshelf, <laughs> if I can get the words out. And then coming around here, this one also has a standard sized closet. In between the two bedrooms on this side of the house is a bathroom and once again a standard tub, sink, and everything you'd expect in a bathroom. Now on to bedroom number three. Bedroom number three has two really big windows. This one is the brightest of all the bedrooms. And then stepping around, this one also has a standard sized closet. All right, so now we'll go take a look at the family room. So we're back into the living room. So I'm back to the front door just to kind of orient you. Master suites over to the left. The two bedrooms that we just looked at are over to the right. So stepping back into the house, there's a slight step down from the living room to the family room. And this has plantation shutters, really big windows. Take a look at this. Beautiful views out into the backyard. A wood-burning fireplace with a bracket for a television. And then a kitchen that opens up into the living area. There's a slight step up into the kitchen. And then got a nice big granite breakfast bar. 
granite throughout. Stainless steel appliances. Very nice views of the backyard. Nice tall cabinets. And a stainless sink. And nice view out to the side yard as well. All right, so now let's go take a look out back. All right, so we just stepped outside the door from the living area and we've got a breezeway that separates it from the detached garage. There's a little gate here to get around to the front of the garage and out to the street. Where I'm standing right now is all covered in this breezeway. There's some sitting out here, nice shade sitting. And the backyard's very big. There's a nice vinyl fence. And I'll just give you a little walk around here. The air conditioning systems behind this fence. Then they've got a pedestrian gate up front here to get into the backyard, but you could easily put a bigger gate in here and put some gravel down or some pavers or something like that. And there's a lot of room back here where it, you could park an RV or, or really anything you wanted, a big boat. I'm gonna come around here and kind of give you a view from the other corner, just to kind of give you a sense of the size of the yard. All right, so I'm in this back corner back here. And you can see this yard is quite large. And also, I'll, I'll probably mention this on the video when I take a walk outside. This, this back fence here, there's an alleyway on the other side of this fence. So you could, if you wanted to, put a a big gate in here and also have alley access for vehicles or you know, for RVs or something of that nature. There's a view from the back corner. So it's very nicely maintained. Beautiful, beautiful home. And since we're out here, we'll go take a look inside the garage. Oops, sorry, <laughs> got to fish out the key. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're stepping into the garage from the breezeway. And let's see, light switches are on, but I'm, light's, light's not on. This house has all updated electrical. This is one of the panels. This one serves the garage area. The water heater's out here in the garage and laundry hookups. So this is one side of the garage. It was originally a one car garage and then they expanded it. So there's a doorway into the other side. And I, I kind of like them when they're set up like this and I'll tell you why. If you wanted to have a workshop area you can really kind of segregate it from the parking area very easily. And of course, you got garage door openers out here as well. All right, so that's the tour of the inside and the backyard. I'm going to cut this video and then I'll make a separate video to walking around the outside, show you what the neighborhood looks like too. So thanks for watching. Stand by for the next video.